So don't mind my background. I know it's kind of busy, but I'm just going to talk real quick on a particular manual of arms for these style of shotguns. That's for these, the Escorts, and for like the Remington 870s and whatnot. This is applicable for if you want to change the type of round that's in the chamber or if you want to clear the chamber but keep the magazine tube loaded. So all I'm going to do, if for some reason you want to clear the chamber but keep the tube loaded, is I'm going to depress the action release, move the action back. You see how it goes back freely about a quarter, quarter of the way, about half an inch or so. You want to go back about that far. So about a half or a little over half. Take the shotgun, flip it over. I can take I take my thumb, come in. You hear that little click? That's me pushing the round forward in the magazine, in the tubular magazine. So basically what I did is I pushed my round past that detent. So now the elevator is not going to catch it. So now I can clear the chamber. And as you can see, the chamber is completely clear. The elevator hasn't picked up the next round. Now I have an empty chamber on the shotgun and I still have a round in the magazine for future use. So just wanted to show that to you. It's uh, something, if you're doing it in the middle of a fight, it can be a pain to do because you have to rely on some fine motor skills, uh, some complex motor skills to get it halfway back and then reach in and uh, push in the shell and all that good stuff. But this is perfect for if you want to clear out the chamber of your shotgun, but you don't want to worry about loading another round. You want to keep your magazine fully loaded. So hope you found that useful. Um, feel free to put your tips and tricks in the comment section below, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching.